How are you guys doing today? I just wanted to say thank y'all for the 100 subs. And whenever I hit the 500, I'll have something special set aside. But today's video, we do have a Timu. This is a wood stove off of Timu. This is a 20 piece and one survival kit. And this is six survival cards. Let's go ahead and open them up and see what we think. Here we go. This is a foldable gasifying stove. I have used this a, a few times. It does collapse. Stacks right on itself. The little arms come and fold out. And that is a gasifier. What it does is you put your twigs in there, you light it on fire, but the smoke that comes off a lot of these uh, woods that we burn, a lot of things actually produce this smoke. Um, but you could get a second burn out of that. And so all of these air holes right here, somehow there's a science to it that it's, it ignites the, the, the gases that are being produced. off of the objects you're burning for a hotter burn and there's a second burn is kind of what they call it and so you'll see each one of these little holes kind of just uh start shooting the flames out and it and it more concentrates it to the center and it really it helps out whenever it comes to a cooking purpose and i will put a little picture of this lit um and then um uh, that you'll kind of get to see what I'm talking about on there. But this isn't a bad little deal. Um, paid under $15 for this off of Timu. It's, I didn't have high expectations for it. I did receive it and I was actually kind of stood by, uh, took him back on the quality of it. Uh, it is stainless steel. No issue on any of that. Uh, like I said, it, it collapses really good and folds right back into itself. And these little pot stands fold right back in. And so it, it really does break down pretty easy. And if you don't wanna have a big campfire just to do some cooking, I suggest this guy and you don't have to carry a, a gas bottle with you and, and go that direction all right let's let's move on to the next one let's get that off to the side these these are survival cards kind of like grim cards i guess but a cheaper version of the grim cards you can tell i have not even used these And I will throw a little breakdown picture in the end of this video to show you what each one of these pieces are actually used for. This is one card. You can tell you got arrowheads, little saws, hooks, spinners. On this one, you got a little knife, a little lure, some more hooks, little sewing ones. A little bit more lure. About the same concept with all of them, give or take. This one has a couple more arrows involved, more hooks, swivels, lures, double-sided hooks. Here is another blade, another sewing needle, one more sewing needle, and then another saw. Now, controversial. 
I guess this is a spear, but it looks like a fork to me. We do have some more arrowheads. Most of these are gonna be re-evolved around just fishing. I know that you see some some arrow tips in there, but it, it, this is more directed to fishing. They're spear tips at that point. They're not even for big game or anything. You could probably take small game out with it, uh, but these are the little survival cards. Funny thing is, these costed a little bit more than the stove did, actually. And I will put a link on the prices to everything. I just don't want to tell you a price and be all the way wrong about it. So i just put a link to the prices of the objects I'm showing you today. This is what they advertise as their 20 piece and one survival kit. Now I typically build all of these kits myself. This was a freebie just for doing a order. I got an item for free. I went ahead and just put the survival kit on there just to see what it had. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll get into that. Well, there we go. We got a Mylar blanket. These are not the good ones. You cannot reuse this. I think there's probably two of them in here, but there is absolutely no reuse to these. These are the, the cheaper ones all the way. Get that back over here. All right, a little spork set. Does have a little knife on the end. A whistle inside of that so you got signaling eating and cutting I want to say I've seen a picture where they kind of lash this on a stick and they made a spear with it as well but I would say eating tool now I did throw this in this kit just a little bit of fire starter and hand sanitizer um, numerous of things that this is good for. Now we do have a little bit of, I want to call this paracord. This is rope, not paracord. And if it is, it's the cheaper kind. But about 15 foot of, of rope. Now I did throw in this lighter as well. It is a torch, so it just makes fire starting a lot easier when you have something like that. It does come with a striker, ferro rod and striker. You see it, it does throw, throw sparks just, and it, it's pretty decent to be honest with you. It is pretty decent. Now you do get a little flashlight in this kit as well. Now this is Three settings. I have a couple of these. So whenever this one came in, I didn't even worry about really opening it. But this is just a water bottle. Now you can hook it under that. It's to hold a water bottle. A regular water bottle with a spin lid. You could hook them on right here and they kind of just dangle. And you could hook it on your pack, your belt. You could hang it anywhere you want. But like I said, I, I got a couple of these, so I just add that to the collection now. Now this is a key card, that SOS help key card. Has a little bit of rope on it, some cutting edges, serrated edge, can opener edge, uh, line cutter, flathead, Phillips, so there's a, there's a couple of tools, a little nut driver. There's a couple of tools located on this. 
Now take it for what it's worth. Um, when it comes to compasses, you you want to spend good and know that you got a good one. When they're typically cheap and, and little bubble ones, then they're not the best. They're just not the best. So just with that being said, be cautious. Yeah, I feel like that bubble is not gonna be too good for all this. It's a cool looking compass though, it really is. But I just, I wanna, I wanna count on this guy being too accurate though, just my honest opinion. Now we do have carabiners with locks. Now this is pretty handy right here. Can never go wrong with some carabiners, especially some locking ones. And there was two of them in here. Awesome. I try these out every time I get one. I'm just pretty tickled about these. Um, little saw. Just a little saw is what it is. Now I want to go cut down some super big tree with this, but clearing some branches, getting some firewood, um, just even some overhead limbs. Uh, you could wrap this around those uh, that are overhead and and use it to saw them. It's not bad. I have a couple different styles of these. Um, this is the thinnest one I own and it, it, it surprised me. Surprised me. It did better with green wood than it did anything dead though, to be honest with you. Well, these are little covers for uh, little plastic tableware. What what I was thinking with one of these is I could cover up a, a finger. I could I could use it to put. It's like a little shower cap for your plastic wear. But I, I could use it a number of ways. I could store food with it. Possibly even uh, tote water. Um, I could cover my finger, like I said, if I have a cut and to keep everything from getting in it and affecting it, just, uh, they were, they take no space, they weigh nothing and they could have a use or so. So why not just throw them in there? Tactical little pin. Now I've seen them where they actually have a little spike right here where this DNA collectors are. But in the same aspect, you will get a scratch. If you was to use this for tactical reasons, you would be able to scratch somebody with that. I don't know about fully uh, penetrate them. Maybe with enough force, you still could. But you would you would be able to use this as, as some kind of weapon, I guess, is what they want you to. I, I don't know if I would just be reaching for a pin in the time of need and that's what my mind would go to and that's what i would just think about is hey uh, i got a i got a tactical pin but they give it to you people like them and now this is pretty handy get you a phillips and you get you a flathead all in one right there and then they're pretty good quality honestly they, they got a little weight to them So with that being said, guys, that is that 20 piece survival kit that Timu has to offer. Now, I, I want to say when I did look this up right before the video, it says that the, this one in itself is uh, no longer made, but they do have other kits that are very, very similar to this one that they still make, they still produce. So it, and I think they had them as a 30 piece kits and 24 piece kit. Whenever I was looking that up, this is a 20 piece first aid kit from Timo. Oh, one of those little packs got in the way right there. But there you go, guys. That is. For right now, my little Timu items. I don't want to spend too much on Timu. 
this was fun this was interesting and and it wasn't too bad honestly it wasn't too bad of stuff uh, a good portion of this once i really get into it i won't be using now there's a couple of items in there that that yes yeah, sure they're they're okay for the kids packs um for for just an extra bag in general but um i really like things that are budget friendly and the quality is there and timu's a hit and miss you get some quality sometimes you just you kind of get robbed and with what i say these two items these were good these were really good survival kit very questionable very very questionable take it for what it's worth um until next time guys until next time and i i do got some other stuff in store got some special things coming up so just stay tuned and and thank you for your support